Welcome back to Hopi Smith School of Self-Reliance. Make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age. Lesson 12. Well guys, you've been with me for six weeks now. And gals too, by the way. And what you have been exposed to is how to create a genuinely new business idea from your own experience, how to do short-term, medium-term, and long-term business concepts, a good dose of real-life kind of business experiences, what kinds of things can you expect when you get started, and you have been encouraged to actually actuate one of your short-term business notions and get some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. As well as start on and conceive of a general business plan. In this final lesson, I want to encourage you some more to actually get it done so we're going to start off with why you should do or plan for or hope for a business that you actually enjoy doing. You will live longer and happier if you enjoy your work. Well, that's not always possible. you got to pay bills, and you're probably doing a job right now that maybe you really don't like so much. But that's what you're stuck with. All right. Put your shoulder to the wheel and go ahead and do it. But, in the meantime, keep your dreams alive. Plan to start your own business. You may not succeed, and perhaps you never will actually do it. But even the planning for it, to show you that there is a possibility of a better life ahead, if I really work at it, if I really need it, yeah, this looks like it can work will improve your lifestyle and actually improve your stress level and increase longevity. We've done a whole lesson on failure. And to reiterate that, it's better to fail at the concept stage rather than when you are actually in the midst of a business. So as long or as soon as you can test your concept in some small way and see, well, this is not really working very well. Uh, maybe I ought to do something else and start something else. The better your possibility will be for success. Now, all business concepts will have bumps along the road. Yeah. Uh, these are going to come. But work through these. But if, ah, I've written my screenplay 12 times and I've sent it in 14 times and it gets rejected every, every, every time and it never looks like it's going to make it. Well, it's time to put it in the drawer and think of something else. Yeah, start writing on your second screenplay or your third or your sixth or your tenth. But, if this is what you enjoy doing, if this is what your dream is, if this is what your goal is, even though the odds are one in a hundred thousand that you may ever get it anywhere, all right, go ahead and continue. When you fail, 
go through that analysis process. What could I have done to make this better? All right. Now, what might that be? You might take on a partner who is more informed in that particular subject area than you are. That's a possibility. Partners are difficult, meaning it's like choosing a spouse. Uh, you're going to be wedded together in a way at the hip. And, well, your partner might be your spouse, in fact, but otherwise, if you seek someone else with specialized knowledge, it most likely isn't going to be. And you and he and she have to really be able to get along and stay together for as long as you need to get your business on its feet and pointed in the right direction at least. So, yes, you might well take on a partner. If you don't want something quite that lasting and that formal as a partnership, seek outside help and accept it. We talked about this quite early on. But yes, I think now you can see better that yeah, from time to time, I really am going to need some help and go out there and get it. You may also want to get more education in a particular area. There are many schools and workshops and even groups in town like the Rotary Clubs and so on and so on and the Lions Club. Well, yeah, there are people in your own community particularly older retirees who may be well able to give you some pointers in some particular directions that you might not have thought of, particularly those that have been through the mill. Hmm. All right, listen to these folks and hear what they have to say, and if it's useful to you, by all means, implement it. But don't quit. Keep going. Keep striving for your dream. Keep striving for that idea, whatever it is, and see if you can make it work. Some people have a fear of new knowledge. If you are going to succeed in business in modern day, you're going to have to change with the times. Uh, I'm afraid that's inevitable and changes are coming thick and fast. Uh, it seems like every week there's a new variation of a computer program that I've got to do something. Go oh, God, another one? Crap. Well, yeah, these things happen. Uh, I'm working with a new word processing program. I'm working with a new video program that I had not used before because my old one is no longer supported. The one I loved and was familiar with and worked with for years. It's not out there anymore. Okay, so you do have to change with the times. New technology is coming along. Artificial intelligence is coming thick and fast. And if you don't know about it, you need to know about it and you need to do something with it. It's in its nascent stages now, and it's starting to build. So if you want to rank, if you want to launch a new business in this new environment, yeah, you need to find out what's going on with AI and as it might impact you and how you can use it and how you can use it to make you what your product is easier, cheaper, and better. If you don't, something in AI is very apt to replace you. And that's not a comforting thought. Now you can form virtual corporations. I've explained those to you before. And so extend your knowledge not only to your fam not only from your family group and school chums, but worldwide. The whole world of knowledge on the internet is available to you. So be willing to search for it, find out what you need, drag out the bits you can use, as painful as it might be, 
go through the process of learning it. If you've done something ten or a dozen times, you sort of get the idea of how it's done and become comfortable with it, just as you were with whatever uh, the old program or process was. If you run against an absolute blank wall, thud, it's just beyond your capabilities. You can find someone to ghostwrite your book, do your project, make your drawings, design your company, make your product, ship it, collect the money, pay your employees, blah, 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 blah. You can find people online who will do these tasks for you. Once your business gets to a level that it will support them. So early on, this got to be a brief one-time use because you can't afford to hire this guy and have him hang on forever, most likely. All right. When you start making real money, okay, then you can expand your business so you can grow it. The thing about starting businesses is most people think too small. They think only about their limited area, which is fine if you're in a trade like plumbing or electrical work or something like that. Yeah, you're stuck in your local market. But if you're marketing knowledge, or if you're marketing products, okay, or if you're marketing information, can I sell these worldwide? And if not, why not? And can I expand my market worldwide? Hmm. When you're considering your businesses, just like I explained way back when, lesson three or four, go ahead and think about worldwide markets, not just your small little local environment. One thing I mentioned very early on, and now it's time to reiterate it again. There is nothing in human experience that cannot be turned to profit by an inventive mind. Hmm. Good and bad, there's profit to be made. All you have to do is identify that area and be among the early people to act on it, whatever it is. Somebody may have demonstrated the concept before but failed with it. Okay, that's okay. You can pick it up and run with it, perhaps. If you can find, figure out a way to do whatever he did in a better and more efficient way. It's okay. You're building on the bones of another business. Well, look around you and keep this in mind. There is nothing in human experience that cannot be turned to profit by an inventive mind. All right. Look and think and invent. Yes, you have your list, but that list is not engraved in stone. It can be changed. And if it needs to be changed and you see something, you spy something, my God, I should have done that 20 years ago, or 10 years ago, or yesterday. All right. Grasp the bull by the horns and go out there and investigate it, research it, think about it, get advice, act on it, and then go do it, guys. If you have the concept and if you have the will, you can succeed in your new business. That's what it takes. A good concept and the will to succeed. You will take it through testing, yeah. Yeah, you see, okay, it didn't work well this way, but it did will this way. You sort of perfected your item or process or novel or screenplay or whatever, 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 whatever it might be. Or design your sculpture. I don't care. If you persist and you keep trying, your chances of ultimately succeeding are much improved.
Hmm. And if you enjoy what you're doing, you'll have a hell of a ride along the way and live longer for the effort. You now have your business plan ready to send in. I trust. All right, I want to see it. Send it to me at hobysmith at bellsouth.net and I'll take a look at it and hopefully in 10 days or so, if I'm not absolutely inundated, uh, you'll get a reply back. And again, you don't have to worry about me stealing your business. I ain't going to do it. First off, I'm, <laughs> that would be morally abhorrent to me. And secondly, I've got so many things going already, I ain't going to take on anything new. So go out there, finish your plan, send it in, and we will see how you did. And also, tell me how much money you raised when you investigated your short-term venture. Yeah. And I'll let you know how the class did along the way when I reply back with your business plan. Have fun, guys. Go to it, and let's get things done.